some of the reasons as to why national unit platform party snubbed ipod invitation by his excellency welcome to seven and we're all aware that the national unit platform party led by Honorable boroba chagulani also known as bobby wine rejected the invitation to join the inter-party organization for dialogue there is the ipod claiming that the platform is only used for party heads to meet for a cup of tea and photo opportunities ipod membership is made of all political parties that have representation in parliament uh well thanks for joining us live on projan media tv kindly do one thing subscribe and turn on the notification button for all these updates according to a letter dated uh 2nd of september 2021 to the executive secretary ipod the secretary general of national unit platform party david louis rubongoya explained that the regime uses the organization for its political gains, which is far from the intended objective of strengthening Uganda's multi-party democracy. He said in the past 10 years of iPod's existence, democratic space has only shrunk going from bad to worse every successive year. Uh, they will recall that on 26th of April 2021, the leadership of the National Union Platform Party met with a representative from the Netherlands Institute for the Multi-Party Democracy. At that time, they made an impassioned appeal for the National Unit Platform Party to join iPod. Rubongoya stated that it's true that National Unit Platform expressed the gratitude to join iPod, but the organization has been co-opted and used to legitimize a brutal regime that has no regard or respect for democratic governance. They have taken time to study the discussion that has taken place in iPod over time. In their assessment as the National Unit Platform Party, the regime has turned it into a forum in which party principals meet for a cup of tea, followed by a photo opportunity, and serious discussions about the future of the country have been denied audience within the platform, as he said. Rubongoya added on saying that hundreds of their supporters have been abducted tortured and even murdered and to date, many supporters of National Unit Platform are scattered in different prisons across the country, yet iPod is quiet about it. He insisted that NUP will not join iPod at the moment until there are tangible changes that incorporate the interests of the common Ugandans. IPOD was set up in February 2020, uh, 2010 by six political parties which signed a memorandum for understanding to govern the multi-party platform. National Unit Platform Party is the current leading opposition party with the most members of parliament from opposition, hence its absence might affect the credibility of the IPOD. Uh, well, that is it for now. National Unit Platform Party has given out their reasons as to why they snubbed the invitation to join the iPod by His Excellency Welka Gotham 7. And we'll keep on updating with more of this. Kindly do one thing, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching Projan Media TV.